All right, we're going to be talking about the different types of solutions that you'd have when solving a system of linear relations. So the first type of solution that you can have is you can have no solution. So it is possible to be given a system of linear relations and there actually is no point of intersection. The two lines don't cross. So um, what does that look like visually? Uh, visually what that would look like, and this is the only way this can happen, is if you have two lines, right, and these two lines here, let's draw these two arrows here, these two lines here are actually parallel to one another. So if you're in a situation where you have two lines, and these two lines here are, sorry about that, these two lines here are parallel, Put these markers here these two lines are parallel when that happens when that happens you would have no point of intersection no matter how long I extend this line how long I extend this line how far we go in the X both in the positive or negative direction these lines will never cross and the reason for that is these two lines are parallel okay so no solution is a possibility and this exists when the lines are uh, parallel, right? So, as a little example here, we can add, uh, if I gave you a quick system, suppose I gave you the system 2x plus 1, and the second linear equation was 2x minus 3. If I gave you something like that, that would be an example of a system of linear relations that has no solution. And again, the whole reason that we have that is because the lines are parallel. Okay, and we know these lines are parallel, obviously, because their slopes are the same. <clears throat> okay, the second type of solution you can have is you can have what's called infinite solution. An infinite solution, visually what it looks like, is you have your linear equation, right? This is maybe one of your lines. And your second line is actually the exact same equation. So both lines are the same, right? That's how you have an infinite solution. So the reason they call it infinite solution is because any point on this line would be a solution, right? No matter which lines you choose, that would be a solution. If I, which points I choose, that would be a solution. If I pick a point here, that's both a point on, um, let's label this line one, line two, that's both a point on line one and line two. If I pick a point over here, this is both a point on line one and line two. Right now, notice here I just I put this in purple, um, but this line extends just the same. Like this line will ex this purple line linear relation will extend the same in both directions. So the point being here is that no matter what point you choose, that point is both a point on line one and line two, so it's a solution to the system. Um, so because of that, you would have infinite solution. Right, anything you choose is a solution. Um, an example of what that would look like is let's say here I got equation 1 and then let's say it is um, y equals negative x plus 1 then let's say equation 2 is going to be x plus y equals 1 well it won't take take you guys long to realize that these are both the exact same equation right and because they're the, the exact same equation you're in a situation where you have infinite solution Okay, so option number one is no solution. The lines are never going to cross, and that only happens when they're parallel. Option number two is you have infinite solution, in which case that happens if it's actually the exact same line. Here's a quick little example of what that would look like. And lastly, the final option is a unique point of intersection. So this is the other option that you can have, is you can actually have a unique point of intersection. So it just crosses at one point. So let's take a look visually what that looks like. Well, 
take another line here. All right. And this point right here, that's the point of intersection, abbreviated POI. Right. And um, let's say see, that's XY, some point. And what that means by unique is it means there's exactly one solution. So they use uh, they'll use the term unique uh, point of intersection, or they'll use uh, the phrase exactly one solution. Right now, when do you have exactly one solution? Well, I have no solutions if the lines are parallel. Right, as soon as the lines aren't parallel, as soon as you have two linear equations that the lines are not parallel to one another, those lines have to cross eventually. So that when does this happen? This happens when this happens when the slopes are different values. As soon as the slopes are different values, you automatically have a unique solution. Right? So for example here, if I give you this equation, um, sorry, and then we have something like x plus 1. These two lines are going to cross, right? Eventually, those two lines are going to cross. Also, even if you had something like this, y equals 2x plus 1, and your second equation was y equals 2.0001x minus 5, eventually, these two lines will cross. If the slopes are different, you have a unique solution every single time. Okay, so in this situation here, option number one is no solution, parallel lines, infinite solution, the exact same line. Sometimes they'll write it a little bit differently to trick you. And then lastly, the very final option is you have what's called the unique solution or exactly one solution. And that only happens when the two linear equations have slopes that are not the same. If the slopes aren't the same, unique solution. Let's actually write that down. If the slopes are not the same, that implies unique solution. Okay, so these are the three types of solutions you can get with a system of linear relations. Thank you.